Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danny and we are going back to Neil's Young Zuma from 1975. If you're new to the channel, yeah, um, I've been reacting to Neil's Young records from top to bottom. You have a playlist with all those reactions. Uh, this must be like a sixth album that I'm doing. Uh, I might have lost the count by now, but I'm enjoying the process. Neil has been um, really uh, an, a discovery for me. I did not hear many songs from him before. And yeah, thank you all so much for uh, the support by likes and subscriptions that you have uh, been uh, giving me in the past. And of course, the comments and suggestions. Uh, if you have any stories around this album, uh, when you first heard it, or um, uh, which bands did you like in 1975? How does this record fit in 1975 for you? Was it among the top of your favorite albums from that year? Let me know, just um, uh, feel free to share anything. I, I would really appreciate to, to have more context uh, around this album and the time when it was released um, for, for my general knowledge. And if you would like to go an extra mile, feel free to buy me a cup of coffee or to donate by uh, or through um, PayPal and um, you have the links in the description below. So without any further ado, the next song is Looking for a Love. I'll share a couple of comments after the song. Let's enjoy uh, until then and thank you so much for watching. Okay, uh, Looking for a Love is 
really decent song for for a, let's say I want to say a filler song in the record, but it's definitely a deep cut. And uh, I, I I mean the the most obvious thing what sticks out is the that guitar tone. Uh, I'm not sure if if that's one of his famous one note. Um, um, uh, style of playing, but uh, it definitely sounds very repetitive in a, but not in a bad way. Uh, it it definitely brings um, uh, extra flavor to the song, uh, and uh, yeah, the 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 drums and the bass are have a very let's say familiar type of rhythm, and that kind of uh, guitar playing uh, on the electric guitar definitely brought something fresh to the song, and um, instead of just being uh, yet another song, it definitely had something to offer. Uh, the back vocals are, again, um, really well, I mean, uh, there are many things what Crazy Horse brings to Neil's sound, uh, in many, many positive things, but back vocals are um, a very uh high up there with my favorite things um i just love uh when they have this uh energetic frenzic uh playing uh when they get lost in the moment but when they are into more control when they are just um, doing a, a, a nice and mellow tone a tune the back vocals uh, really stood out for me uh, in those cases so let me know in the comments if, if this is one of your favorite songs or not and um what do you think of the record in general? Where do you put it in among uh, Neil Young records? Is it um, among your favorites? Uh, if so, why? And same if it's not. Uh, what do you think uh, this didn't make it uh, for you uh, to be one of your favorite records? If not. And uh, yeah, thanks so, so much for staying until end of the video. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care and bye-bye.